I think the most important message that needs to be conveyed is that you don't have to be a part of a quote-unquote civil war unless you want to. The point also needs to be made that it's not really a civil war. You're not really dealing with armies. You're dealing with increasingly violent political gangs. I think the purpose to analyzing the fights in the streets is to see the increase, discuss the increase in the violence, the tactics, the violent tactics, the dirty fighting, street fighting tactics that are being used, and how people are responding to the media, but it's not just CNN. It is the overabundance of fight, fight, fight information on the internet, and we see how the algorithms are punishing those of us, right, that are involved in the independent media. Ultimately, people are distracted by the chaos, and it's even difficult to get support, for example, on the internet. Uh, unless we're taking a side. People are very passionate about their sides. It is very difficult for someone like me to make it in the independent media while, right, remaining truly independent. So I want to stress, right, that it takes two armies to have a war. Just like people said, well, you know, uh, doesn't it take two militaries to have a war? Even Bill Hicks um, commenting on the first Gulf War. You know, don't you think a war takes two armies or militaries? Would you really consider the uh, Iraqi military at that time like a force to be reckoned with? The United States just completely went in there and uh, did what they did. Some time passed and they went in there again. Very easy dismantling. It's really an occupation, more so than a war. In the United States, you don't have dual opposing armies or militaries, Antifa on one side, Trump supporters on the other, people that are partaking in these um, uh, free speech marches. You have political gangs where you have people bringing brass knuckles, batons, helmets, stun guns, and God knows what else is going to appear. You see, you may be white, you may be black, you may be Middle Eastern, you may be Asian, you may be male, you may be female, and those may be aspects to describe who we are and what we are. Ultimately, that's not really what we are. That's a box. Now, if people want to live that box and then develop their tribe around these boxes and then conflicts with others that have beefs with those that are in those boxes, then that's what they want to do.